to him. Better yet, he needs to go outside and find him a girlfriend. Always playing these fucking video games. Like I said, leave him alone. Look, I'm gonna go take a shower. When I come back, you better not be talking to him. <laughs> Rich. What's wrong with you? Huh? You want a girlfriend? I bet you're still sniffing them bicycle seats, aren't you? First time, let's go ahead and take it on outside. Let's go. Hey, animal control, that dog in there. Yeah, I'm gonna let you. 
take this out. All right. He loses his sense of self-esteem and sense of confidence. You know, Jessica's pretty good, but you know, Ronnie, I mean, she's a little square. Oh, Ronnie, Ronnie no, 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 Jessica, definitely. Ronnie, on the other hand, you know, I'm just smoke so much. Fuck, baby. Whatever you do, don't tell Jessica. I'm leaving her for Ronnie.
really proud of you guys. Hopefully I will get me a house like this with good credit. You'll get there, just be patient. With what? I've known you two years. I've seen you work, you have great potential. Yes, you're right, I do. Uh, but by the way, your backyard is big as hell. The whole house is wonderful. I know, I got it, I bought it myself. No help from Jessica whatsoever. Nice, okay, okay. nice here, man. Yes. Hey, Justin, want a hit of this? I know you do. Not really, I'm cutting down that stuff for a while. And besides, we are not allowed to smoke inside the house. At least what Rob said, right? Yeah. Considering Jessica hates that shit. So she hates that shit, it's about time to say that. I have to tell you, I did get you a housewarming gift. But I kind of left it at home. Oh, don't worry about it. I appreciate it anyway. Something told me I was forgetting something. I'm so sorry. It's all good. Dude, your yard is dope. Uh, dude, just like your dope. Man, you want to another one? Why do you think you were spared any of the violence? Well, I believe it was the brother who broke her while he was living here. And uh, he used to sit on the rocks and I think she made it possible that he couldn't touch us. You think the blessed mother was looking over you? Oh, definitely. How do the neighbors feel? Do they all know about it now? Well, some do. But some are not aware of it yet. The nice guy, this 24-year-old giant, Edmund Kemper, never bothered his neighbors on the Alameda Street. When he was 15 years old, Edward Kemper was arrested, charged, and convicted with murdering his grandparents. He had been treated for mental illness, yet he was able to purchase a 44 Magnum handgun, one of the most powerful ever made. Do the gun laws that made that purchase possible need review?
<laughs> no, idiot. Demons too. Babe, I know, I know. I just love this movie. What's the after? Hey, how the hell you use this thing? You read the instructions! Uh, remove the pin. Ah, you're all muscle and no brain, boy! Hey, Brock. Pause the film. They say there's a killer on the loose and that we should lock all our doors. I got the notification, too. On the right house. Go right now, I'm gonna call the cops. What are you doing? You better leave, motherfucker. Kick your ass, man. What the fuck, huh? Shit!
just uh, that, that, that's death. That, that is... They just fucking killed Jesse! <laughs> Working. The whole power is out. Everything is out. What the fuck is going on? God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 We gotta come up with a plan. Something. What do we do? Christy, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. There's a fucking psycho outside. No fucking joke. Okay, I can't deal with this. Work, lights don't work. The fucking microwave probably doesn't work. What good is a microwave right now? Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying. We can't call the police on a microwave, Christy. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay, okay. Do you have any plan? Kill the fucker. Do oh. it ourselves. Uh, oh my god. Are you serious? Are you, are you serious to it right now? Okay, we don't know who yes, this guy is. is. We don't know who he is. We don't know what he's capable of. The house is changing. It's weird. We don't know what's going on. I mean... Wait a minute. You, I know you're going to think this is crazy, but... What if it's like spirits or something? Shut I told... You know, like in the house, like the house is shh, alive. Shh, shh. Do you guys hear that?
guy for years upon years upon years. I know exactly what he's doing. I, I just gotta find him. He's around here somewhere, I know it. I can smell him. Still can't believe he escaped from that damn facility. Fucking trying to grab some kids from the fucking family. You know, we ain't gonna let him get away from us. You know, we have to catch him before he kills again. That's a must. You know, we the best in the business. Damn it. This is a fucking dead end. Just be done. Andrew, Andrew. That is dead body. Damn it. I did not want to fucking see this right now. Okay. Just be on high fucking alert. I guarantee you he's here. Let's check it out. Guarantee you. Let's see, Andrew, that's just the joke. See how he died. Young brother, I see he got some strings to the neck. Look like a bastard stringer. That's just, that's Richard Zimmer. This is Zimmer. Just be damn heights. We have to catch him now. Yeah. This guy is crazy. body's really fresh. Right. Probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. We have to find him. He's around here somewhere. I gotta call backup for sure. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and call backup. We need to get him out here ASAP. Yeah, okay. Wait, what?
show our spot on it. No clues. Yeah. Spot on evidence that I found here. So this is what you found? Yeah, yeah. It's the only thing. All right. Looks like his bag. Uh, you know, maybe we can get forensics out here and you know, call him. Yeah, we have to get forensics out here. Uh, we have to have him comb this whole area. Make sure there's nothing else out here that we didn't see. It's not what you can prove. It's what you know. It's what we got to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not an expert. I'm not an authority. I'm someone who has been a murderer for almost 20 years. Can you say how many people might be doing crimes like you were doing? It would be a guess, but it's not. It's far more than 35. It isn't that impossible in this society. It happens. Are there more people? They didn't give up. Or how he, many? she didn't give up. I did. I came in out of the cold. And what I'm saying is there are some people who prefer it in the cold. Good people say. A nice guy. Did you like Kemper? I like Kemper. You were able to appear like an ordinary person, non-threatening. This is the house of the dead. Something that Richard has to come back to. He sacrificed his parents here. He sold his soul to the devil here. It, gathering souls to become immortal or something. But I have an idea. I think if I go and talk to him, mm. I can get him to fight whatever it is hiding within him. Bad idea. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> Damn it, 
woman, watch it! Ronnie, 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 Ronnie.
kill the cop. No, 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 no. So I believe you. What do we do? How, how do we beat this guy? Have a plan. Have my We've got to escape. Show of hands? Who's with me? Are you serious? Keys already! I'm trying! Try harder! Oh my god, you did not just sit. Not just. Drop the fucking keys. Which... And hurry up, hurry up with the I... fucking keys already! I'm, I'm trying! Try faster! <laughs> oh my god, you bitch, you did not just. Oh shit, Ronnie, run, Ronnie, on your left, on your left! What? 
are you doing? Get out of here. You will. I'm just gonna make sure that it happens, right?
Medical facility at Vacaville, California. He's kept in a segregated wing with just a few other inmates. Last night, when we were young, love was a star, a song unsung. Life was so new, so real, so right, ages ago, last night, today, the world is old, you flew away and the time grew cold where is that star that shone so bright ages ago last night sticker on my car and obvious access day or night to the campus I was picking up some very lovely young women you know what we were talking about as we're driving around almost as often as not this guy that's going around doing this stuff and the second they started talking that they didn't realize it but they were getting a free ride I couldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole I swear you know but they'd be telling me what all about this guy and they're comparing notes and speculating on what he looks like how he carries himself why he's doing this stuff telling me about it so how come they get in a car with somebody at that time she judged me not to be that guy i didn't look like it it's open 11 o'clock at night the lights are on all they have to do is walk by and look out and i've had it 
Why did you keep the heads? Why did you cut them off? And why did you keep something out of my childhood? Uh, I could put it on an incident. I mean, my father chopping the heads off of our two pet chickens, and my mother insisting that I eat them for dinner. Uh, <laughs> you know, we could say it was something that simple. I don't think it was. Now my dad heads out back with a hatchet. I got on my bike and I rode. I tried to stop it. I remember that. I got on the bike, rode around the block. I was crying. I haven't talked about that for a lot of years. I'm sure that may have implemented something. That may have gotten something rolling, but along fantasy lines. But it took a lot of years of development along those lines to really get off. But how are you able to, in one minute, have someone's head in your hands, and very shortly thereafter? Living through a fantasy.